All right, fellas, let's, uh, well, somebody, somebody made a mess out in the, uh, out in the kitchen and, uh, didn't clean up their mess in the kitchen and, and somebody else wanted to teach about tents and stuff and didn't want to put the tents in the mess in the kitchen. So that same somebody is, anyway, we're in, uh, we're in here in the, uh, up in the second floor of the, uh, of the underground, uh, bunker, uh, tree house. And, uh, we're going to be talking about tents and, and camping, um, Basic standard tent, guys. Uh, yeah, you can see me now. Welcome. Uh, basic standard tents. Uh, this is one that I've used for years and years and years. And everybody has uh, pretty much about the same thing. It's a tent with a rain fly. Uh, this one uh, I chose specifically years and years ago because the rain fly would go, I mean, just almost touching the ground. I wanted as much heat to stay in there as possible. Um, at the time, a notch up from this tent, I would have to ventilate. So, um, great tent, great waterproof, but it is just like a lot of tents in that once you get that fly, that rain fly off, there's a huge amount of screen. Now, if you live in a very dry, arid, uh, climb, it's, uh, it's great. You could see the stars and it ventilates all this heat. And it basically keeps the bugs off you. That's why you have a tent, to keep the bugs off you. Well, for a lot of the guys in the Upper East Coast um, and northern climates where when you go to bed, when you get up in the morning, everything is coated in dew. So you can't really get away with just setting up a tent without the rain fly, the dew fly. Um, now, the, one of the things I really wanted to show you with this is now this one has a huge amount of screen on top. I do have a uh, screen and door backing, but um, I can close a lot of that up, hold a lot of the heat in, but I don't have anything put over the top of this. One of the things I did early on when uh, I was started camping with this tent, and actually I did this with other tents, is you take the daily newspaper. And if you take the daily paper and open it up, And make a layer. Just make a layer. Put the rain fly over top of that. Uh, yeah, it's not as easy as it sounds. A lot of times I put the fly on, then reach up and lay this paper out. The newspaper is an amazing product. Uh, the old uh, the, the old bums sleeping on a on a park bench covered by the newspaper. There was a reason. Um, newspaper being a natural material, the fibrous natural material holds heat like you can't really believe and um and one of the ways that you always knew this was when dad fell asleep on the couch at the paper when that paper finally did fall off he woke up he woke up because it was cold An amazing amount of heat um i always say when you go camping on your way out of town you should pick up the daily paper because you can see what the weather's going to be for that weekend and it's fire starter. You can crumple it up, put it inside your boots, help dry out your boots, but for heat retention. There's been a lot of times where middle of the night, I realized, boy, it's pretty cold. I'll grab the paper, open it up over top of what I'm sleeping, a sleeping bag, a blanket, things like that, just for some additional heat. Or if the cold is radiating up through the ground, you can put it down and it acts uh, as a blocker there. So that's newspaper over that. That's a little, that's a little odd, a little weird. Um, but a couple of other things that you can use that should be in your bag by now, if you watch any of these videos, is a disposable poncho, uh, these plastic ponchos, or your thermal uh, emergency blanket. Ha ha, the emergency blanket comes back. I'm not going to open those ones up, but we do have one. You know I'm not earphone friendly, you know this. Now this is just a chunk of one that I have left over from other stuff that I've been doing but a full-size emergency blanket, even if this isn't screen and you have a regular tent body, wow, is that gonna trap a lot of heat. Now, you will get condensation because you're breathing in a lot of, a lot of moist air is coming out of you. Um, and it's gonna condensate because you have cold here and warm here, wherever that moisture hits, it's gonna condensate and wanna drip. But the heat retention will be incredible. Um, I've thought about taking some of this and sewing it into a cover. It will cover the whole thing 
and uh, using it as a thermal barrier. Um, sure is noisy. When the wind wants to blow this, listen. Ah, when the wind wants to blow this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of why I never did that. Um, and another thing is a lot of times in a vehicle, if you go car camping, it's never a bad idea to have an old bath towel with you to, you know, dry off, wipe off mud in the morning, wipe the dew off your tent before you start packing this up. But you also can use it as a big old insulative blanket. Now, even if you're not covering everything, boy, you're covering a whole bunch of it. You know, if you're freezing to death and you put a blanket over everything but your big toe, well, that's not worthless. Your entire body's staying warm, except for your big toe. Same thing here. You're retaining a whole bunch of heat, and this won't condensate as much, or at all, really. It'll absorb the condensation. So a big old bath towel can, uh, can work out for you. Um, there are some ideas for you, fellas. Uh, <laughs> every day learn or teach. <sighs> and a good day, you do both.